Am I going to buy the redesigned Toyota Tundra? Well, good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So am I going to pick up the redesigned 2022, three, we don't really know, Toyota Tundra when it comes out? You know, I've had um, Tundras in the past, of course, um, and they're awesome trucks. I mean, both the uh, Crew Max and the Double Cab were both awesome, and in a 5.7 and the 4.6 liter motors. Both are awesome trucks. I've even had two wheel and four wheel drive. Both very capable. Of course, you go with the drive that you need depending on where you are. And it always uh, cracks me up when you tell people that you have a two wheel drive truck. They go crazy. It's like it's sacrilege or something, right? Why would you buy a two wheel drive truck? Well, that's kind of simple because I don't need a four wheel drive truck. I might as well put four or $5,000 in the bed of my two wheel drive truck and just pretend that it's four wheel drive, right? Because I'm never gonna use a four wheel drive anyway. I don't know, craziness. But what's it gonna take, I guess? You know, I am anxiously awaiting because my plan is to pick up the brand new redesigned Toyota Tundra. And I am gonna buy the first year, right? I know everybody always says, never buy the first model year of anything. Well, <laughs> there is some truth in that. Um, I have the Gladiator now, and it has a few little gremlins, and it is the first year. So, I don't know. I guess I'm not uh, once burned, twice shy. Uh, I'm still going to be uh, looking for the redesign. But what's it going to take? Well, first of all, it has to still have good power. You know, I would not buy a full-size pickup truck that was gutless. There is nothing worse. And it's going to have to have a decent amount of power because it's got to pull all that weight around, right? So they have to maintain at least as much power as they have right now. Now, I'm not really concerned as to how they do that. You know, a lot of people complain about hybrids or all electric or turbocharged, all that kind of stuff. Frankly, I don't care. Now, if you're going to have the truck, you know, for its entire life, for years and years, I can understand why you might be concerned about a, a turbo. You know, a lot of people say the turbos don't last very long. They won't last the life of the truck. They're expensive to replace. Same thing with batteries, you know. If Toyota comes out with a Tundra that's somehow a hybrid battery mix or something like that, maybe they're going to throw all three in, right? You'll have the old regular engine. You'll have a hybrid system with a battery and a turbocharger. I don't know. But it doesn't really make any difference to me. I'm more concerned about performance and power. Now, the Tundra does need to get better gas mileage. My Tundra, I think, is getting something like 13, 14 miles per gallon. Uh, it's horrible. I think it's worst in class. If it's not, it's got to be pretty close. So definitely needs a bump when it comes to fuel economy. And Toyota's going to have to do that. I don't think they can come out with a redesign and still get 13, 14 mile per gallon and be competitive. I think they'll lose so much market share that it might affect whether or not they even produce a full size truck anymore. And surely Toyota's aware of this, right? I mean, they know what they're doing. They're gonna come out with something that's probably class leading or at least class equivalent, I would think. Um, I mentioned power definitely has to have at least the same oomph as what the current Toyota Tundra has, and it has a lot. It, uh, it's going to be difficult, I think, to maintain that same level of power and acceleration that the current Toyota Tundra has because it is quick. It's got to be one of the quickest ones out there. I know it's not the fastest, but it is one of the most fun to drive because it is so responsive, so quick off the line, has enough power to tow whatever you want to tow within reason. I mean, if you're looking to tow a house around, then you probably need to go to something a little bit bigger, you know? But the Tundra does it, I think, for most people and what they're normally going to haul around. And speaking of hauling, does need to maintain good hauling capacity because I think that most people that buy the Tundra, not all, but probably most, are actually more concerned or utilize the hauling capacity more so than they do towing. You know, the weekend warriors that go get two or three scoops of dirt, maybe... 300 bags of mulch, you know, whatever fits in the back. And it's funny, you have to be careful with that. I went and got uh, some dirt a while back in my Tundra, 
And as I'm watching them load it, and they're dumping the bucket in there, and the truck's going, vomp, it kind of dawned on me, I really don't know how much this dirt weighs. And the other thing you have to be concerned of is, is it wet? You know, when you add water to the mix, it makes it a lot heavier. But you have to be concerned with those kind of things, and certainly the Tundra has to be able to handle at least that for the weekend warriors out there. Uh, from a tech standpoint, you know, Toyota is never very quick to, to jump on anything technology-related, it seems. It's almost like they wait four or five years so that it's tested, and there's some validity in that. I mean, obviously, if you're trying to maintain a good reliability reputation, then you don't want to jump on the latest and greatest things until they're out in the market for a while and test it. But I think Toyota's going to need to step it up in that area. You know, if they're going to put out a valid, redesigned truck, it's going to have to have the latest and greatest in it. They're not going to be able to go back and put in something that was out five or six years ago. They're going to have to be a little bit more cutting edge than that. And I think today's buyers are demanding that, right? That market has gotten so competitive, especially in the mid-size truck market. I mean, you know, for a while, all we had was the Tacoma, right? The Tacoma and the Frontier. Well, now we have the Tacoma, the Frontier. We have the Jeep, the Colorado. We have the Ranger. There's rumor of the, Dura or the uh, Dakota coming back. So it's getting more and more competitive out there. And, of course, the full-size market has always been competitive. We have numerous brands out there. And we're going to have the all-electric models coming soon, right? You've got the, uh, the new Tesla uh, Cybertruck. Yuck, wouldn't touch that. But we have the Rivian. That's coming. Uh, there's uh, an electric Wrangler that's going to be out, which I can only believe is going to somehow or at some point transfer over to the Gladiator. So we're probably going to have some sort of an all-electric Gladiator. Just all kinds of things out there that Toyota's going to have to consider when they're putting out this new Tundra. And maybe that's why it's kind of, it seems to me, been delayed a little bit. To be honest, I would have expected the new Tundra to be out already. I honestly thought it would come out in 2020 or 2021. But it seems to me it's now more like a 2022, 2023. So it'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here. I've been thinking about this a little bit, you know. We're getting closer, and I do love the Tundra. And I had mentioned before on the channel that I would have the new redesigned version when it comes out, and that is still my plan, assuming they meet these criteria that I mentioned. So we'll see. Leave a comment, let me know. If you're in the market, if you're in the full-size market, would you take a look at the new redesigned Tundra, and what does it have to have to tip the scale for you? Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.